drops contain medicine used to treat many different eye conditions, including glaucoma, dry eyes, and eye infections. In this video, we'll show you how to put in eye drops. First, be sure to read the instructions on the label and the instructions you received from the UTMB Health Eye Center. Before putting in the drops, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Gently shake the bottle before applying. Angle the tip of the bottle towards your eye. Avoid touching the tip of the bottle to anything, including your eye. To apply the drops, lie down or tilt your head back. With your pointer finger, pull down the lower lid of your eye to form a pocket. Hold the dispenser close to your eye with the opposite hand. Drop the correct number of drops into the pocket, waiting at least one minute between each drop. Don't squeeze the bulb too hard and avoid dropping the drop onto the surface of your eye directly as this could cause stinging. Close the bottle right away and do not rinse or wipe off. Now gently close your eyes and press your pointer finger against the inside corner of your eye next to your nose for one minute. This allows the medicine to start working inside your eye. Do not rub your eyes, but gently wipe away any excess liquid from the uh, surface of your eye or your skin. Use a clean tissue to wipe away the excess liquid. Always wash your hands after you are done putting in your eye medication. If you're using more than one type of medicine, wait 10 to 15 minutes before using the next type of eye drop. If you miss a dose, Apply that dose as soon as possible, but if it is close to your next scheduled dose of the same medicine, go ahead and put in that dose and do not double up your medication. Call the eye center if you have any problems after using your eye drops, including eye pain, changes in vision, signs of infection such as redness, swelling, drainage, or pus, very bad eye irritation, redness, or watering rash or hives, no change or worsening of symptoms after three days of treatment. We hope you have found this video useful. Please call the eye center if you have any questions or concerns.